Live from Scout Studio, it's Things to Talk About. Good morning, Jags. Today we've gotten together to talk about things that are related to being safe. I'm Jay. I'm Ayla. I'm Brooke. I'm Herpreet. And I'm Austin. We've got a lot of things to talk about, so let's get started. One topic that immediately comes to mind when we think about students our, our age and safety, and that's pedestrian safety. Traffic is crazy in the front of our school, in the mornings and afternoons. I know, everyone is in a hurry, but it isn't, it isn't worth your life to save a few minutes by running between cars across the street. Teens who have been hit or nearly hit by cars reported crossing in the middle of the street. According to a new Safe Kids research report, half of teens survived say they crossed the street while distracted by a mobile device. I've even seen people riding bikes and scooters while looking at their phones. It seems obvious that we really need to put our phones away. And take the time to cross the street at crosswalks. Check this out. Texting and walking have been banned in certain areas like New Jersey and people that break the rule are to face a $85 fine. And in London, some lampposts have been padded with softer material to reduce the injuries of the people. More than 11,000 people are injured each day due to texting and walking. In 2017, there have been over 6,000 deaths caused by texting and driving. Moving on to other topics, Pennies for Patients is coming soon. What is Pennies for Patients? It's a program to raise money for research to help kids with leukemia and lymphoma. It's going from Monday, March 11th until Friday, March 22nd. How does it work? In order to raise as much money as possible for this important cause, we've turned things into a competition for each grade level. One seventh and one eighth grade team will win a prize of a Mad Hatter's ice cream party. The winning team will be based on upon the one with the heaviest jug of coins. So if I'm going to donate a dollar, it'd be better to donate a hundred pennies rather than four quarters because a hundred pennies would weigh more. Ooh, and there's a fun way to sabotage other teams to improve your team's chances of winning. I'm listening, so tell me more. Paper money subtracts weight from a team's jug. So if I want to sabotage a team, I donate paper money to their jug and coins to my team's jug. Yeah, one paper dollar subtracts one-tenth of a pound. So if Hornet 7 had 50 pounds worth of coins, but if people have put $10 in their jug of paper money, then they really only have 49 pounds. Cool, that sounds like a fun way to compete while raising money for a good cause. Yep, bring your coins and paper money into the MP room at lunch next week if you want to help to raise money for pennies for patients. It's time to pull Jag Swag winners for our regular privilege pool that happens the second Friday of every month. The prize pool is kind of a big deal because it's the last one where we will accept the old version of Jag Swag. That's right. Starting at the beginning of term four, only the new Jack Swag will be accepted in classroom drawings and on TJTV. Let's see who will win for, for the Aggie 7. Remember, this is just a regular drawing. From Aggie 7, we have Connor Blackburn, given by Mrs. Bradley. And the Hornet 7 privilege winner is... Cameron Lee, uh, by, given by Miss Albioni. The Tiger 7 privilege winner is... Michael Warner, given by Mr. Brennan. Now for the 8th grade. The Aggies A privilege winner is... Um, Nicholas 
N E B C from Mr. Siever. The Hornets 8 privilege winner is Kiani Rivera given by Mr. Wolbrink. Mrs. Wolbrink. And the Tigers 8 privilege winner is Scott Paul, given by Miss Middlebrook. Congratulations to our winners. Please come to MC9 right now to claim your privilege. Now let's ask Kevin to take these winning tickets into Miss LaChapelle. We have a special guest coming into the studio towards the end of the show to pull our golden ticket winners. Hey, Anime Club members, you will not be meeting today after school. In fact, they will Zoom meetings on Friday, March 22nd. Cyber safety is really an important people to our age. Yeah, it can be a real disaster if somebody gets into your account. What's crazy is how many students have problems with people getting into account because they gave their password to a friend. Hey, Sophie, what's your password? My password is... Protect your account and password by not sharing it with any other... The only safe password is a private password. Today is the last day to get your Renaissance sticker in the MP room at lunch. If you haven't gotten your sticker yet, or even not sure if you qualify, get the Renaissance table today at lunch and find out. It's safe to say that you should get your sticker and enjoy the benefits of being a Renaissance student. In other school news, 7th graders, you'll be taking spring pictures this morning in the multi-purpose room. Come with your best smile. It's amazing to hear about how many kids get injured at school because people don't stop and think about their actions. Check this out. In order to be safe in the classroom, you must not throw objects at others. Five meeting you will need to attend you must be attending today's meeting bus paperwork must be turned in at the student store window if you're a track athlete you need to know that you're allowed to change in the locker room before practice but please don't leave your stuff in the locker room because you won't be able to get back into the locker room after practice because it's not safe for you to be there without supervision just like it's been for all the other sports, the locker room will be closed at 3 p.m. each day. So you'll need to take your stuff with you. Oh, and PE loaners will not be available for track athletes, so you'll need to bring what you need to for school. The moment we've all been waiting for is finally here. That's right, it's time to pull the golden ticket winners. We've asked drummer Abraham Manu to join us, making the moment more exciting. We've also asked Jazzy the Jaguar to pull the winning tickets to keep things on the official side. Speaking of official, here are some fun facts. 500 golden tickets were distributed to teachers to give to students. Of the 500, only 406 were registered at the student store annex. Jazzy's assistant, Abby O'Neill, will tell you how many tickets were entered into each drawing as well as read the winners. Okay, Jazzy and Abby, let's find out who our golden ticket winners are. Hey Jags, I'm Abby here with Jazzy and we're going to pull the winners for the prizes from the least number of tickets entered to the greatest number of tickets entered. First we'll start with the Hydro Flask that had 29 tickets entered. And the winner is... <laughs> ticket number 388. This ticket belongs to Natalie Carpenter and was given by Mr. Shylin. Congratulations, you just won a Hydro Flask. Come on down to MC9 to pick it up right now. Next, we will pull the winner for the Echo Dot that had 42 tickets entered. And the winner is... <laughs> ticket number 142. This ticket belongs to Miley Raynon, given by Mr. Furtado. 
Congratulations, you just won an Echo Dot. Come on down to MC9 to pick up your prize. Now we will pull the winner for the LED keyboard that had 51 ticket entries. And the winner is... Ticket number 254. This ticket belongs to Harry Hugh, given by Mrs. Lopez. Congratulations, Harry. You just won an LED keyboard. Come down to MZ9 to pick it up. <coughs> Next, we will pull the winner for the Fihal Raven Konkin backpack, which had 52 tickets entered. And the winner is... <laughs> ticket number 153. This ticket belongs to Giselle... Mujica Garcia, given by Mrs. Garcia. Congratulations, you just won a new backpack. Come down to MC9 to claim your prize. Next, we will pull the winner for the Air Force One shoes. This, this had 95 ticket entries. And the winner is... Ticket number 312. This ticket belongs to Ethan Fadina, given by Ms. Mr. Mora. Congratulations, you just won new shoes. Now last, we will pull the winner for the AirPods, which had 137 ticket entries. And the winner is... Ticket number 424. This, this ticket belongs to Cameron Lee, given by Miss True. Congratulations, Cameron. You just won AirPods. Please come down to MC9 to claim your prize. Congratulations to all of our winners. I'm Abby. Now back to you. What an exciting end to our Term 3 Golden Ticket Incentive Drawing. If we all keep getting our families to go to the dine-out days, there, there could be more prizes in our future. Way to go, Jags. Your efforts on being safe, kind, respectful, and responsible have been noticed. And they have been swagged. Since August 31st, 2018, the 7th grade students have earned more than 56.89 pounds of Jag swag. And the 8th graders have turned in more than 64.82 pounds of Jag swag. We had a technical difficulty earlier, so we couldn't get the message across that students on Bus 5 will be meeting on the stage today at lunch. It's pretty safe to know that our students know how to be safe, kind, respectful, and responsible on campus. Congratulations to everyone who has been recognized with Jag Swag. Thanks for making our school awesome. On that note, I think we're ready to say, Have, have a nice weekend. weekend. Bye! Bye.